of the players to implement that game plus it it is... dominating blood what yeah man new, new McTominay, man i seen him balling out for scotland in central midfield i was like yo what is going I heard on about it, you know what i'm saying yeah, i man. seen the clip ten Hag gave him the super serum what is going on nah, like, tell me about to put the claps on the brain blood that's that, yo, that's that's what I... man's hearing bro i can't believe what i'm seeing like i'm shocked i'm like right this guy's actually playing well like mm. props to him so hey props to him props to ten Hag, and yeah i would do that i would do the scott McTominay, my mark de Bruyne. Don't worry about the rest of them ballers and that. Like, stop the Herrera and Hazard. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Remember that game, yo? That's mad. Man was, mm. yes. Don't do, do anything. That. You just... And that's where... This is where I'm trying to say. This is where the false nine comes Our in. manager could do that, though. Because I think... Yeah. What was it? What player was it? I think Ericsson... I think he Ericsson said the manager put him on Odegaard, yeah. Yeah, facts. Put him yeah, on yeah. Odegaard, yeah. That? And, yeah, he yeah, put him on Odegaard, bro. And he absolutely just snuffed man out the game, bro. Like, literally. Yeah, every in the interview. Yeah. And, and Ericsson still did his business going forward. That's the crazy yeah. part. I didn't so know that. Mm. See, mm. so you could have McTominay on the brain, you know what I'm saying? Ericsson on whoever yeah, they well, play. Even Ericsson on the brain, bruv. I'll be honest. That's like, a shot. Ericsson can play on the brain because the brain can't run. He could put anyone on it. <laughs> you know, like that. So it doesn't really matter. You know, like that. You could put anyone you on think? the brain, blood. Just... Anyone that can run, put him on the brain. You know, yeah. like that. Because if you cut the brain out, it's a mad thing, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. It's an absolute mad thing. I just hope that they don't start Gundogan, bro, because he's the one that I'm worried about, bro. Because he's mm. he's proper. I can't lie. Yeah, he's good. But then you got Bernardo Silva as well, who's a I don't know which yeah. two they're gonna play either side of Harlem, which is a problem. But yeah, maybe he does put Ericsson on the board. I think just they the play. Occupy. I think they play Foden, and they play. Do you reckon they play over the other side, Grealish? Nah, I don't think Jack starts against us. I nah, think nah, nah. Who do you I think he's good. Gonna... Foden and Bernardo, I reckon. Yeah, maybe Foden and Bernardo. Well, Foden on Foden on the left, Bernardo Silva on, on the right. On the right. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. Gundogan, yeah. De Bruyne, yeah. and Rodri in the midfield. Midfield, okay. yeah. That so makes sense. Mm. Just pat the midfield out and just kind of like just it's just going to be a case of just going relentless, isn't it? Because you know what, like it's a, it's a game after international break. They just need to set a standard in it. You feel me? That's how mm. it's going to be. Everyone's going to want to because because you got to remember we, a lot of teams miss games and whatnot. And like I said, United might be. You know what I mean? Rusty, you don't know because we've not played for three weeks. So they might mm. just go, you know what? Let's go for the juggernaut. Let's just go all out attack and just run these guys down. Because if we're not going to score a couple of goals in the first 20 minutes, it might be a difficult night. Because United's defence have improved. It's not as if they're, yeah. they're, they're, they're kind of thinking, oh, you know what? It's the same shit defence last season. Varane has improved. Dalo has improved. My last mm -hmm. season showed something. Uh, obviously, Lissandro Martinez has come in there. They've got Casemiro. We've got Casemiro in there that can... Like we've got Ericsson, so it's not this like you know how crazy it is. Last season we played a 4-2-4 of Pogba up front and Bruno. That's how mad it was last season. I think did we not play one Bissaka right back? Yeah, one Bissaka, one Bissaka been playing right back, bro. It's a whole different team, man. You know what I mean? So a lot of people have the the set the feeling of you know what it's the same team last season, so that means United will get fresh. Like, it's not, it's a, it's almost a completely different 11. It's a Yeah, it's a, it's a, yeah 100% it's a new team and the defence has been our strongest part. Like, I don't know why people, and I've seen people say this, why they think we're just going to go there and roll over. Could we get beat? Absolutely. But we're not going mm -hmm. over, we're not going there and just getting steamrolled 3 4 nil, and the game matches the result. Like, you can lose 3-1, but the mm -hmm. game doesn't, didn't look like that. But we're not going to mm -hmm. go there and get beat 3 4 nil, and it's like, right. It could have been five, six, or seven. Like, no, you mentioned it there defensively, how solid we've been, and they're going to get tested. I fancy our chances, and they are going to attack City, which mm. again leaves opening for us. And yeah. we now we have three players in those forward areas, if you throw Rashford or Martial in there, who can hurt them. And then yeah. we, we know about Ericsson's passing from deep. You know what I'm saying? All that space on that pitch at the empty, I'd like, I fancy our chances. We've seen, this is, it could be Arsenal 2.0 in terms of the yeah. plan. And style, yeah. I think we need to um approach the game exactly the same way. This Cristiano but, could start. I don't think there's any chance that Cristiano starts this game. I'll be honest, I think the manager would rather start a Langer than start Ronaldo. He understands that playing against City, before. yeah. He, he understands against City, we're not gonna have a lot of the ball. We need to play with a certain level of intensity that Ronaldo can't play at. I don't think there's any chance, bro. Mm. Like, I'd rather see Bruno false out nine. wide and, and false nine Sancho. Then I'd rather see Bruno on the left, Sancho in the false nine, and Anthony on the right than see Ronaldo up front, bro. Because mm. Casemiro, McTominay, Ericsson can run blood. I can't Ooh, lie. Sounds, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody did mention that to me actually as a midfield trio that they'd mm. like to see that. And I like that trio. You know what I'm mm. saying? And McTominay, for all they attacking 
prowess and threat that City have. If you put McTominay and Casemiro in there, that makes us even more defensively solid. Ericsson then has a free role to do what he was. You still get Sancho falls. I'm going to start a game for and Fred. Intent. I know it has pa- nah. Fred hasn't been great this season, but... Nah, he's, he's been cool for Brazil, Fred. blood. I can't yeah. lie. You know what I mean? And when he's come on for us, he's looked good as well. Yeah. It you know would have like been that? without Casemiro, but McTominay's mm. playing well. Casemiro, mm. if we're going to start another midfielder, starts. But Fred could ju- could get on the pitch and do a Fred job. coming on is a game that. changer, bro. Because yeah. when because when the legs get get a bit heavy yeah, and then Fred just starts buzzing around, it's around energy. Yeah, yeah bro, yeah, he, he, he patterns it. He patterns and it. Midfield, so. They're not the most mobile. Like, not mm. saying the mobile, but Gundogan's legs. You know, what I mean, he's getting older now. De Bruyne. After 60 odd mm. minutes, you start to see the levels a little bit drop. Um, the, the Bruyne's face is red after 35. <laughs> you know, the ones there, man, looking like a strawberry fam after 35. Oh, yeah, funny, man. man, I already know what it is, innit? So yeah. it's just like it is what it is, bro. I think if we if we get the, the physicality in the midfield, it could be a turning point, bro. Because Real Madrid I mean? showed it in that game when they brought on Camavinga, they brought on they brought on them like they brought on Rodrigo they, and so yeah, on. man. Like the game changed, up. and when you look at this season, like Aston Villa, they couldn't bring the intensity up. There's certain games where they couldn't, like the intensity for City this season. They've not that they've struggled, but they haven't matched it at certain times. And yes, mm. defensively they've looked a bit naive. But certain games where you're thinking, "Wow, Newcastle are energy is showing pressing." Aston Villa the same, and it's like, "Wow, t- is this is what's actually happening." You know what mm. I mean? So. It, this, this is an important decision that you got to make. Does he go with a Fred and Casemiro? I think, you know what? Let's put energy in that midfield. Let's actually go and win the ball high up the pitch and then make a move and then obviously get in between their defence. You just never know, man. Because when you look at it like stylistically, yes, De Bruyne, Rodri, Gundogan, unbelievable. But if we've got the energy to match that, you just never know. Like you said... That before, midfield, there's no legs in that midfield. If you're being you know honest, I mean? yeah, it's a very technical midfield, but there's no legs in there, isn't it? Fact. That's a midfield that if you approach it aggressively, yeah, you can get bro, about it. You can get about them a little bit. Do you know mm. what I mean? You have to understand that we're not gonna um dominate. Technic- we're not gonna de- dominate from a technical aspect, so we need to dominate physically all over the pitch. We need to dominate mm. with pace in the wide areas going forward. Ah. We need to dominate in the midfield with energy, and we need to de- dem- we need to dominate defensively with physicality. We have to fucking put Holland on his ass, bro. Like that's what yeah. I need to do. We need oh. to be on that passion merchant thing, like you said, man. Mm. The Vamos merchants, we need to yeah. approach this like it's a derby, full on passion mm-hmm. merchant. But go kick somebody up in the air, like legit, yeah. like Bro, make it uncomfortable for them. I keep saying this, yeah, man. Go put blood in their mouth, you know what I'm saying? Like, go get the South American mandem in there, you feel me? Yes, so <laughs> you know, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> Turn this so into a Copa America story. clash, you know them. Man. <laughs> you know I mean? I'm telling you, man, get a South American dons in there and just say, Yo, mm. listen, you man. Favela thing, let's go in there. Let's, <laughs> let's match up work. You get me, like, bro. I'm telling you, man. Let's get turn, this in, season, turn this into what? Boca Juniors versus Independiente or something like <laughs> <Yeah>. that. <laughs> I think that's Argentina, Brazil, but you bro, get the point. yeah, bro, it is. 